Okay, I've got my uh, Maven Altar set up different, a little bit differently, but not much. Um, I had a friend ask um, what exactly is all on my altar and what for and all that good stuff. So I think I thought I would give a little rundown. Sorry if it's still kind of dark. There's really not much I can do. The lighting in our bedroom shit. So here we go. This is the Family Harmony spell I did because my boys bite like no other. And it's still a work in progress. Um, so there's that. Um, this is a candle for uh, Bridget. This is like her side. Th this whole side is uh, Bridget's and this is Odin's. So, um, this is her lantern, and, um, and there is a honey-scented candle that a friend of mine sent, um, and a bee, that's from one of my boys, uh, and yes, I, thoroughly everything that I put on my altar, I do, um, it goes to the, um, full moon the deal and I do sage them um, and then we got uh, kind of like depictions of like I feel this one this one right here is supposed to be like a veterinarian and um, Bridget has a lot of I don't know if you call them totem animals or corresponding animals but she has a lot of animals that um, could signify her um, and if you want to know more about that, you can look that up. Um, I have a book on Bridget, and that's where I got some of my information about that. But this kind of like, uh, to me, reminded me of the warrior aspect of Bridget. Because, yes, she is seen as a warrior, too. There's a little bunny rabbit back there. Um, which is usually associated with the Empress, and that's who I have... Um, depicting in a tarot card, which is from the Witch's Tarot, as um, representing my goddess, Bridget. <clears throat> um, I have sage that I've offered to her, uh, red, uh, carnation, copper is one of her metals, moonstone, amethyst. I've got a teeny tiny little vial of uh, honey. For her as well. Um, this is uh, oil I made just for Bridget, and it's like a carry along size for me. Um, Yang Lang oil. Um, this one's violet and lavender, a friend made for me. Um, this right here is my divination oil. I use it when I'm gonna do tarot reading. Uh, or a study for my tarot. Um, of course, you know that it's an incense, and I need to to uh, put this over to the side so I can get rid of the ashes. Um, peach selenite, and my altar tile, and regular selenite, and it would take me forever to like try and remember all these other. Uh, stones that's like redundant or something like that it's like pink and black um this one's like i think milky quartz selenite a lodestone um and the depictions of air feathers that i found um this represents um a mother's magic that's all i can tell you um, I even made my own nest for the egg. Um, I've got one on my little basin. Uh, this is to like draw luck in, you know, for as a family and harmony and love between me and my lover. <coughs> um, this is a candle I burn for Odin. This is a candle I burn for Odin. This is a candle I burn for Odin. And there's my chalice for Odin. My chalice for Bridget. I know. This is really dark. I really wish I could make it lighter, but I really can't. 
Um, I've got my Eclipse water over here. I've got my, um, it's like my smudgeless sage type deal stuff, but it's made with Florida water and rosemary oil and lavender oil. Um, offerings to Odin, um, pine cone, a cigar, and loose tobacco. And I usually give Odin a uh, whiskey and a little bit of red wine for um, Bridget since I don't I don't have any meat and don't know how to make any. Uh, this is a small version of his oil. Um, that's the oil I made for Odin. This is a money oil. Um, prosperity spell. This is my like ancestor incense blend that I made. Um, that I also could use. Uh, it has the same herbs as my divination oil. <clears throat> Up here we've got my little, uh, which is a uh, cabinet, I think is what it's called. But a picture my son drew, my oldest of Odin. I tease him. I told him it looks like a Jesus with an eye patch. But you know. But that is what's on my altar. And it's got like an autumn type uh, cloth. I know. It looks really crappy. One of these days I'm going to repaint this and make it look nice. But for now. This was for now. But, um, hope y'all like it, and until next time, many blessings.